can see it still bullet holes all in the you see the holes all in the yes yeah, it's, it's a um it's like a memorial um there that's been up since he passed away He just, he didn't deserve to go like, at all, he didn't deserve to go like he did, and he did, it wasn't his time. So he wasn't just out there being a bad kid or. is a semi-automatic rifle that has had a AR type machine gun conversion device installed within the interior components of it. Lastly, is your M16 machine gun Auto sears, Glock switches, forced reset triggers, uh, which we recently brought a civil case in New York, uh, the Department of Justice did, uh, to try and stop the sale of that product. They come in a lot of different names, shapes, and sizes, but they have one thing in common. Related cases to the National Firearms Act, uh -huh. the NFA, um, mm -hmm. where we're dealing with those specialized group of weapons, mm -hmm. are the what's coming here. Okay. Uh, then there was different kinds of devices, all aimed at doing the same thing, which is making a legal firearm into an illegal machine gun. Uh, and people invent new ways to do it, cheaper ways, quicker ways, more dangerous ways. Same gun with the conversion device installed. No, no conversion, it's just a semi-automatic. This one here is with a what's commonly referred to as a Glock switch. Explaining this, what we're referencing these back plates, looking at the back plates here, to where you would not be able to tell the difference with these, with law enforcement, state, federal, local, whatever it may be, just by picking this up and looking at it. You would actually have to review the internal components of this to make sure they're there because they're practically exactly the same just by visual look alone. However, this, this firearm here, would actually have a machine gun conversion device installed, and this one does not. This is your standard Glock backplate to where this one has been 3D printed in as a machine gun conversion device. I know, I know it's There might be a shootout uh, on the street between civilians where it used to be that five rounds, four rounds were fired, and now 50, 60, 70, 80 rounds are exchanged in that same time period back and forth. And think about that. That is not just a danger to the person who is being shot at. 
that's a danger to the kid upstairs in an apartment a block away. Uh, it's a danger to the people sitting on their porch nearby. It is an absolute public safety threat that these machine gun devices are, are in our communities like they've never been before. Semi-automatic firearm, no conversion has been installed. Um, we have had, we've done some random tests between different, and each one may have a small variable difference. But we've actually tested it to the... Oh, what size are those? Um, what size? No. <laughs> There's a lady size, 10 long. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Five year period, 570% increase in machine gun conversion devices that were, those are just the ones that are reported uh, uh, by local law enforcement. It's a huge problem. Another problem is that uh, these devices come in all different shapes and sizes and they don't look as dangerous as they are sometimes. So some of them you can print off a 3D printer in just 45 minutes and it looks almost like a, a piece of plastic that you'd hang a coat on over a door. Uh, but these are deadly and illegal devices. By the way, they're illegal to have them, it's illegal to give them to somebody, it's illegal to make them. It's against the law. They're considered machine guns under the eyes of the law, They right? are machine guns. That's correct. Just that piece of plastic itself. That Alone, without anything else. You're walking around with that piece of plastic, you can be prosecuted and sent to prison for it. it takes oh, to 3D print one of these? Yeah. Uh, probably one of these in about 30 minutes, roughly. <laughs> Just being patient, taking it one day at a time. And I still want to keep his name going. Um, he deserved to be still relevant. Um, so I have to keep going, no matter how much grief I, I grieve him in, in, in private and, you know, during my time. So.